fazla. It's broken. Amen. If if we can ask him that man, there's too much rejection that this man is facing. I see you are facing rejection. It's true. Eh? People are just they don't even care about you. It's true. Even when you come here, you are coming to search if we can help you. Yeah, I saw you in a vision and then God said I should come here. Yeah, because there's too much rejection. Amen. You've been trying many people. It's true. Eh? It's true. Because I've seen you going around many churches. It's going true, man of God. Thinking they will see you. That's true. And nobody has ever prophesied you. That's true. Because of the spirit of rejection. Even in your family, you people you have scattered. Because, Correct. Because you are fighting and you are serious. You are the only one who is very serious with God. That's true, man of God. But when I touch you here, you will be celebrated by the family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. What you need to do, what you need to do is to live right. Amen. You hear what I said? I, I hear you, man of uh, God. I hear you. I don't want to talk more than that. You must just live right because I saw how you are living. Satan is trying to confuse you. He's bringing a spirit of lust on you. That's true, man of God. And this spirit, let me leave it there. Come. That spirit is really confusing you. That's true, man of God. Eh? That's true, man of God. So God loves you. When I look at you, I see success coming to you. Thank you, Lord. You, you, you. from now on, God will use you mightily. Amen. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because you have been praying, doing Amen. fastings. Amen. Eh? That's you, true, man of God. You're a man who does fastings a lot. Amen. Is it true? That's true. Eh? That's true, Apostle. You do a lot of fastings. That's true. Uh, yes. Because I, I saw you want to go to 40 days fasting. Amen. And uh, now God said, come here. Come here. Congratulations. If you are here, you are blessed. Amen. Sir, can you tell us your name and where you come from? I'm Arwan Machache. I'm from Venda. Can you tell us the prophecy you received from the man of God and the confirmation? Uh, the man of God says he see me fasting. He said that God want me to use mightily. So it is true that most of the times maybe I fast twice or three times maybe in a week. And then he said, and again he said he saw me fasting 40 days and 40 nights. But it's something that I was thinking to do, but I was still like doubting, looking for someone to guide me to do it. Yeah. And how do you feel that today you got the guidance that you were searching for? I feel very much blessed. I think that, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah, I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, my encouragement is that, uh, especially for those women and men of God who are called by God, they should not uh, listen to the temptations to so much. They must focus on the calling that God has called them for. To do because like the messages that the, the, the servant of God was telling us today, it's like he was talking to me anyway. Sometimes as the servants of God we find ourselves being tempted a lot, being challenged, being accused of many things. So it's like he was telling me to forgive those people and to forget about them. Yeah, that is the encouragement that I can give to the servants and as a woman and, and men of God that they should not listen to the temptation, but they should listen to the God who called them to do the work of God. Amen.
People have rejected you. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. And even now, others are fighting you while you are coming here. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. When I'm looking at you, you, you have got this spirit of fighting, of saying, I don't care what they say. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, That's sir. why you are here. Yes, sir. So today, God will anoint you for your work. Amen. Is he here? Receive your anointing. Come on. Come on. Leave him. Leave him. I want him to hit down. When he wake up, he will never forget. Because there are many people who are against this man. Stand up. Many people are against you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. I see this rejection is a very serious one. Even when I give them all whatever I have, eh? they still fighting me, they still persecute me, they still attack me. I give, I give, I give. Listen, there's an accusation against you. They're even accusing you that you are not called. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. They say you're not even called. Yes, you are, sir. You are trying to make yourself a man of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. But when I touch you, they will know you are called by God. You are, you are called. You are called. You are called. You are called. Take it. Take it. In Jesus' name. You are anointed from today. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. Amen. When I was looking at my brother, I was very worried. You see what I was talking about that side? Is disturb the Holy Spirit if we don't have uh, people that side. It really disturb the Holy Spirit. Sir, can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Pastor Chukwemeka. I came from Nigeria, but I'm residing in Jamestown. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? The man of God came to me and told me that people are attacking my ministry. They are questioning me that I am not called, which I confirm that is true. And uh, they are attacking also me that uh, I am not called, and he prayed for me and said that, that as he touched me, they will, they will know that I am called, that I am called. And for how long have you been facing these challenges of people accusing you and saying that you are not called by God? This thing has been a very long time. It started since 2000 and. Uh, Precisely 2011, but now I open my own ministry. It's still the same thing is still repeating. So, yes. And how will this affect you? It affects me, you know, so much that I love people, I care for people, I pray for people, but they are, you know, rejecting me, they are persecuting me, they are doing all manner of things, you know, yeah. And since today God spoke into your case and said that uh, people will start knowing that indeed he has called you, how does that make you feel? I'm really, I'm really feeling very good because I know God has located me through the man of God, Apostle Makananisa. So I thank God for locating me today and I'm relieved in my heart that God, for him to mention my case today, which means he has settled the matter. Any words of encouragement to the viewers all over the world? I want to encourage the viewers all over the whole world to believe in God and also believe in his prophet. If they can come down to charities, the same way God has located me and delivered me, the same way God will deliver them and locate them. Amen. When I pass you, I hear that you must not worry again. Because you have been worrying a lot. Yes, it's true. Eh? Yes, it's true. It's only when I pass here I heard the worry. Yes. But the worry is about your house. Yes. Uh, concerning your husband. Yes. So I'm telling you now, God is touching your husband. Thank you, Jesus. I want to see him come into charis. <laughs> because that is your prayer. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Is it your prayer? Thank you. Let me hear it. Is it your prayer? Yes. You want him to be saved? Yes. Is it true? It's true. You want him to be saved? Yes. So he's going to come here in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You. 
Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Jerry's TV. We are here on our Sunday live service where the man of God is prophesying people and we'll be hearing the confirmations of the prophecies that they are receiving. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Okay, my name is Belinda and I'm from Bino. And can you tell us the prophecy that the man of God has given to you and the confirmation? Today was my day and I received a prophecy with him. They did. They say that my husband need to uh, need to come to receive uh, Jesus, and it's true. He will to come to receive Jesus. And the man of God said you've been worrying about your husband because he's not saved. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I'm worrying every day. I'm also praying. I wish that my husband can come to receive Jesus. Too. And how do you feel now that God has answered your prayers and your husband is going to come to receive Jesus to be his personal Lord and Savior? How are you feeling? Hey, I feel I feel so happy. I feel so happy. Because I know that if it didn't want to say that the prophet, I give the process that my husband need to come to receive Jesus. I, 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 I have it. I, 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 I know that it's real, it's true. I, I, I'm going to come to receive Jesus. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Okay. I all uh, as and will and complete show. Kabang wana bang wana bang kiseba. Vashalela kacharis. Vash tisi sasha gude de loka shuvula vla sasha go. Ifanele kuta uta uva umelu so umelu ashu shaso. Eva inti is. Eva ingi seta. Eva ingi seta charis na shukonge. Na ba mebe ba kuna shilu shwa karataka. Ba konge la usuku na shika na shago. Shilu le shiana. Shi inza. Eni shi entle ka ba 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 na shukonge la shago. Loko ba konge la shwa shi entle. Eni shi shwa shi entle ka shita entle. Eni na shukolo. Banga ba na kuka na kan ka did. Eni na kolo ka shukonge la shwa. Okay, my words of encouragement to viewers all over the world that you, they should believe what uh, the servants of God are saying and they should uh, always be in prayer and indeed whatever it is that they are searching for it will happen, it will come to pass in Jesus name that those are the words of my encouragement Mama we thank you, I believe indeed God has done it for you in Jesus name Yes I believe and I know that I believe it's true mm. I want to pray for you concerning business. Amen. Eh? Amen. Will you try to do business? Yes. Eh? Yes. And what is happening now? They gave me a tender last year, July, and nothing has happened. Nothing has happened? Yes. Can I tell you this? Amen. As I'm pointing at you, Amen. you are going to be a millionaire. <laughs> hey! Hey! Tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Maria Sigwe. I come from Brighton, Northwest. Can you tell us the prophecy you received from Apostle J.B. Makananisa and the confirmation? Yes, Daddy prophesied to me that um, he saw me doing business, trying business, and nothing was moving. And I confirmed that to be true because last year, July, I was awarded a three years uh, tender that, which is supposed to expire in 20. 20, but from that day they awarded me that tender. They've not given me an order until today. I've been going from the offices, all the branches, they've been giving me a run around. Yes, that I don't appear on their system. Yes. And the fact that uh, they've awarded you for a long time and it was, it was not happening, how was it affecting you? It was affecting me because I was looking forward to do the business and that has been holding me back and I've been trying to do other businesses because I saw that one was failing. So I've been trying doing new businesses almost every time and everything is going very, very slow. Yes. And the man of God declared that this year you're going to be a millionaire. Do you believe that? Yes, I do believe that. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? That when you hold on to God and believe in his word, believe me, uh, there will be a breakthrough because if I gave up and not come to church anymore, I couldn't have heard this from the man of God and it's a, a, a mouthpiece of God. So I do believe everything will come to pass. Amen.
The problem is the money. Yes, that is true. You can't get the money. Yes. 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 Uh, because you want to go for business. Yes, that is. But there's no way. Yes. You have that right. You have the right. Yes. Where is the brother? What's your name and where you come from? Hey, my name is Kato Sibet. I come from Boxback Mill Park, but originally from Limpopo. I'm part of and can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Yes, the prophecy I received today it was concerning trucks that uh, I've got a desire and I've been praying to have trucks. Yes, it's true. And I confirmed the prophecy to be true. Yes. And when the man of God uh, spoke to you about the desire that you were having, what is it that you believe God was starting to do for you? I believe God, I believe in His word because He has said that His word will not come out and come back empty forth, that His word shall come to pass, for it's not a man who can lie, for it's a God who speak and act, He'll make it to happen in Jesus' name. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Our uh, viewers all over the world, I will encourage them to keep on trusting God in everything, whatever the situation they have come across, just put your faith and trust in Him. He will do it for you. Amen. Amen. God loves you, Ceci. I want to pray for marriage. Eh? Amen. Because you want to marry. Amen. Eh? Amen. But you are confused. You don't know which one. I have a husband. Eh? I have a husband. He married you? Yeah, but he paid the for a small one. He small. didn't finish. He paid small? <laughs> yeah. Where is the husband? He's at home. I say you're confused. Yeah. You don't know which one to marry now. It's true. Eh? It's true. I say you're confused because I'm seeing you looking at this man and looking at, is he a right man for me? Because of what is happening. Let him marry you. Huh? Huh? We don't want it. Why you don't want that? Huh? You don't listen always. Hey. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Nyeta Rasiale. I'm coming from Gian Lipom. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? The prophecy was true because sometimes I have a husband. Sometimes when we fight, I think that is not my husband. Maybe God can give me another one. It's true. And for how long have you been fighting with your husband? It, it was too long because since we get married, now we have 12 years we staying together. And when the man of God spoke about uh, the challenge that you're facing with your husband, how are you feeling now? Uh, now that time I was feeling bad, but now I, now I, I realize that that thing is just was a demon. So now I, I'm fine, I'm relieved now. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I like to encourage people that if you have a problem in marriage, don't, go, don't run away. God knows everything and God's time is the best. Where are you working? I give it okay. eh? anyway, I give it okay eh? I'm not working. You are about to get a job. Amen. Because I, <laughs> your heart is paining you. Yes. Because you are you are looking at yourself. You are looking at your younger sister. Goodness. You are you are you are, you are judging. Yes. You are beginning to say, what, what is happening with me? Can I tell you this? Yes. Everybody have got his own grace. Amen. God is giving you your own job. But you must stop crying. You know, she's crying because when she look at her younger sister, she feels like everything is moving. And I self, this is bringing depression. But I can tell you this, you're about to give a testimony. Amen. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you... Because now you are beginning to be short temper now. Mm. Uh, your mom is complaining about you because of temper. What is your mom? Oh, did you that side? Uh, I'm sure she knows what I'm talking about. It's like Satan is trying to make you to feel like you are not worthy. You are, you are worrying a lot. But what I'm telling you here, you are about to smile. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Daddy. Uh? Yeah, Daddy. You know. 
Yesterday I was still speaking with him. You, you, you were calling her. Reprimanding her. She must never compare herself so with my younger sister. Is what I'm telling her that everybody has got her own grace. And no, ke motho ile gore ha sana le lethabo le lake letse bao. The joy that she normally has. He younger brother. With the younger brother. And he younger brother who complain too much ka yena re sesi. It's like when you are the only one who's on rating. Mama le sesi ri tsibile ba nrata mara wena. So it's of yesterday. Ma ba ne tedi. The thing of yesterday. Ma ba ne le Saturday ya gere. So you know I was not around. Let's see what Nike is sitting. Eh. Eh? Mm. So I want to tell her. Can you go much? Because I must tell her. Mm. Would you want to give much? Because people are complaining. Allah. And the uh uh uh. Tomo mageta. She's always crying and complaining. Mm. You know why I'm stopping here? God wants to use her as an example to many who are here. Amen. Would you want to go much? Thank you, Father. I'll speak that in my language. Because God is using you as an example. When you see people running, when they are overtaking you, when you are going to get your own and leave them and overtake them, eh? sport. People running. Left Left right I am saying they touch my blood. So running is not an issue of going the first time. It's in the person who is running. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Mahoroma Petu. I come from Mune Mandela Park Zone 10 in the location of Tembisa and next to me is my mother Farida Mapete as well. Okay, we'll start again. Mama no chumi. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Mahoro Mapedu. I come from Mwini Mandela Park Zone 10 in the location of Tembisa and next to me is my mother Farida Mapedu. And can you tell us what is it that the man of God has said to you? Uh, the man of God told me about the job of which it was my worry each and every day that why am I not working? And I have always desired to work so that I can be the pillar in the family since while I'm the firstborn. So I've been told that I will... I will be able to smile soon and God will use me as an example in the family. Mama, can you tell us uh, what was happening to your daughter? Uh, my daughter, she is always worried about her an unwaking postman situation. So I used to tell her, don't worry, because everything, it has its own time, and time of God is the best time. And is it true that you were always comparing yourself with your siblings? Yes, I was comparing myself as per the situation to which when I look back, I used to succeed academically and whatever that I used to attempt in doing, whether in applying for the jobs or whether in applying for the internships, I used to succeed. But then lately, I've realized that my life has stuck in one place. It was stagnant. There was no movement. There was no change. And I was desiring that God would touch me and do something new in my life so that my hope can come back again. Mama, as a, a parent, how was this affecting you that your child was worrying and also comparing You're herself to her siblings? I was always comforting her, telling her, let her stop not to comparing herself with her younger sister because it will open a gap for Satan to attack her. 
And now that the man of God has spoken unto your life, how are you feeling? I feel very much privileged to get such a hope and inspiring words to which I'm no longer worried and I have opened my heart so that God can do something that I was always been waiting for. And I feel that I'm, I have hope right now and there's nothing that can give me an access to worries anymore. I can't give certain a foothold. Amen. Words of encouragement to the viewers. I'd like to say that if God has put an appointed time for you, there's no way it can pass you by. Always have expectations and never change your dreams. Believe in God and everything will just be possible. Your time is your time and when it, it is appointed, it will definitely come. Amen. And what I can say to the viewers, I can say to them, hold on to the God and they must know that he who promised is faithful. Amen.